Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday on the 9th of November 2021 was when the second Patch Tuesday cumulative update for Windows 11 started rolling out KB5007215. Now I have mentioned this previously, but the Windows 11 updates do download a lot faster and quicker than the Windows 10 updates. And I was surprised once again that this update took anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes, if that, to download and install onto my device. So that's a nice move forward with the updates downloading a lot quicker in Windows 11. Now because Windows 10 and 11 at the core and base of things are the same operating system, the updates that rolled out for both Windows 10 and 11 yesterday are very similar and contain a lot of the same security fixes and quality improvements. Now once you have updated to this, this latest update, KB5007215, your Windows 11 OS build will now be at 22,000.318. And if you'd like to see if you have the update, we just head to the settings menu, Windows update. And because the update is a, a mandatory compulsory update, it will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. And if we go to update history, under quality updates, cumulative update for Windows 11, KB5007215. Now, like most Patch Tuesday cumulative updates, uh, this latest update to Windows 11 is mainly focused on security fixes to flaws in the Windows 11 operating system. And that's also um, if you are using some of the other uh, Microsoft products, as an example, Microsoft Office, you will also, these security updates are also included in those products as well. And in total, there are 55 security flaws uh, that have been addressed. 49 of those are important. Six are zero day vulnerabilities and two have already been exploited in the wild. So that means that they are currently active. So it's important that KB5007215 is installed onto your Windows 11 device. Now this also means that if you did not install the optional update for Windows 11 that rolled out around about the 21st, 22nd of uh, October last month, which is an optional update and a bug fix update, those bug fixes and improvements will be carried over into this latest update. And just to summarize quickly, that would include um, fixes for the AMD Ryzen CPU performance issues, uh, the start menu and taskbar issues, and also file explorer and, and performance and a whole lot of other issues that were found in the Windows 11 operating system. Now, there's not much to actually report about. Just like in Windows 10, the quality improvements are very uh, small and there's only actually one which addresses an issue where certain apps might have unexpected results when rendering some user interface elements or when drawing within the app itself. And then also uh, the update also uh, makes quality improvements to the servicing stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates. And if you are having problems installing the update uh, through Windows Update itself, you can always head over to the Microsoft Update Catalog where you can just enter the KB number and then download your version of Windows 11. You can just download that manually and install that manually. And this generally does help if for whatever reason the update is not installing through the Windows Update process itself. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.